Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of Gaming Expedient. As you probably can see, I'm not behind my green screen today. The reason is because I'm going to my friend's house today and I won't have time to actually do the green screen and all the editing, so it's easy for me to edit here. The other reason I did my beta code giveaway winner to eat also. And another reason is because I want my animation to get views so people can actually watch and everything. So yeah, that'll be going up too. So that is why no green screen, but now let's go right on to the news. The Ratchet and Clank collection gets a release date and within that, Thing comes a Sly 4 demo. The Ratchet and Clank collection, known as the Ratchet and Clank Trilogy series overseas, came out in Europe and Australia back in June. The Ratchet and Clank collection for North America is due out on August 28th. It'll be available both PSN and retail and it'll cost you about 30 bucks. The game includes the following Ratchet and Clank games Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, and Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. All the games will come in 3D and all the way up to 1080p video output. Then the North American version of Ratchet Game Collection will also come as a Sly 4 down was basically rewarding the North American players for their wait because it came back in June for Europe and Australia and now it's coming out in August so you're getting the Sly 4 demo because we waited so long and they appreciate that. New Need for Speed Most Wanted pre-order bonuses has been revealed. Players who pre-order Need for Speed Most Wanted will be upgraded to the limited edition. The limited edition offers double speed points for the first four hours of multiplayer, plus two early unlocked cars with special performance modifications. The 2012 Porsche 911 Carrera S and Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale. In addition, players can also receive one of the three pre-order packs. Depending on which retail they choose it from, different retailers will offer different pre-order packs. One of the packs is called a speed pack and will include the Caterham Super Light R500 in the exclusive Satan Black livery featuring the track ties modification for improved road handling and the lightweight chassis allowing players to reach mesmerizing speeds. Or they can get the Strike Pack which includes the Mercedes-Benz SL65 AMG Black Series in the exclusive Satan Black livery featuring the Power Pack powertrain modification for an engine tuned for torque, acceleration, and the ability to reach breakneck speeds, and the reinflating Tyrus modification making it easier to survive and counter rivals attempt to slow players down. Or they get the power pack which includes the Ford F-150 SVT Raptor in the exclusive Satan Black Library, featuring the reinforced chassis modification for taking increased damage, and the powerful and violent nitrous dump modification for making mm -hmm. Tight jumps and powered up takedowns. EA has officially announced the Battlefield 4. There will be an exclusive beta for the game coming out in autumn of 2013. And to get into this beta, you'll have to pre-order Medal of Honor Warfighter. And then further details on Battlefield 4 will be released in a later date. The exclusive beta for Battlefield 4 can be accessed other ways than pre-ordering Medal of Honor Warfighter. That's the only one known one at this time. Pre-ordering Medal of Honor Warfighter is the only way to guarantee access to the Battlefield 4 beta. 50 new trophies are coming to Uncharted 3. Patch 1.13 for Uncharted 3 will be coming out around August 14th and will be adding 50 new trophies. The collection of trophies will be added to all the DLC map added to the game. And Patch 1.13 will also add a bunch of gameplay fixes like Increased Recall has been added to the Gmall. Deathmatch will now appear in round 5 instead of round 3 in Team Objective. Quitting out of co-op will no longer be counted as a competition loss. Lab games no longer count toward the leaderboards. Death from above has been changed that you can only get it when you're at least 2 meters above the target. Players can earn more than one here hold this medal in a match. Like I said before, that collection of trophies will be down to the DLC maps. The Tau Sniper has been increased so it shoots 30% more faster and its starting ammo is now 8, not 12. The M9 Blindfire has been reduced by 10% efficiency. Cloak Level 3 is now immune to the effects of disruption. So that is all news of this week's Gaming Expedient. Not the biggest week, but you have some pretty important news like the Sly 4 demo, Battlefield 4 and stuff. So yeah, as you can see, I did get a haircut. That's why I look different, of course. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Expedient. It was episode 10, so I've been doing this for 10 episodes already, so that's pretty good. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, click the like button if you like my content. Click subscribe, of course. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.